Hi, Superspruce here, back with our answer and mentions new game minus four video, episode 11. And I can get 30 eighth dimensions, allowing me to get five galaxy points, which means I can get the upgrade here. Galaxies are two times stronger and reduce the cost by 20 less, except the first, and decrease the cost multiplier to 30. So I'm not exactly sure if that means the second galaxy will be at, tw at 20 eighth dimensions or at 40 eighth dimensions, but. It will be interesting nonetheless. Unfortunately, you know, the beginning of the run is always just... It, it's going to be very rep repetitive. Like, until I get this upgrade. Because there's nothing that's actually going to boost the beginning of the runs until this upgrade. So, yeah, say in a bit. Okay, I'm back like 10 hours later and I, I can get a galaxy. I didn't, didn't need to take 10 hours, but whatever. This multiplier is up to 50 times, which is pretty overpowered. And the next galaxy costs only 20 eighth dimensions. So it's it's the better of the two um, options or, or better two like things I was thinking of. So this should allow me to get a lot of galaxy points. So with, with a 50 times multiplier to both regular dimensions and time dimensions, this is going to allow me to get just, it's, it's just going to be, it, it, this is just completely overpowered at this point. Like a 50, because it's not only a 50 times multiplier to normal dimensions, but the 50 times multiplier to time dimensions will allow me to get so many tick speed upgrades that it just really, it, it makes it just feel so much more OP than it was before. That's probably why it was nerfed from like the, um, the minus minus and minus minus minus, because instead of like being like a 50 times at that point, it would be like a hundred times, but this, this definitely feels faster. Like. Getting to 28th dimensions is going to be a breeze. Like, the only thing that, like, now getting, purchasing these time dimensions is starting to feel tedious. Like, that, that's how fast it is. Like, if it's starting to get tedious to get the time dimensions, then, yeah, that's, you can see how, how fast this is. I wish there, I wish there was some sort of hotkey for the time dimensions, but whatever. I could even just hold M down. That could be an optimal, because you can just use M. Except it'll purchase all these wasteful ones as well. But it's definitely, it requires a lot less clicking. Like, I could just do M like this. And like and maybe I can just, like, alternate between, like, key spamming and then M. I'm, I'm not exactly, like, it doesn't seem like M is the greatest idea at this point. But it's something to consider. Okay, I now have five dimension boosts. And getting to the eighth time dimension is going to definitely be just an absolute, or not, not 8th time dimension, just 28th dimensions to get the second galaxy is going to be a breeze, and it's going to allow me to get more galaxy points from this. Like, you can see I'm already almost at 8th dimensions, and yeah, now that I have 8th dimensions, I can honestly just, like, sometimes do um, bursts of just, just pressing M, and that will definitely help things, and yeah, 28th dimensions is not, is not even a challenge at this point. It's, it's, it's just 38th dimensions, but maybe with the galaxy, it'll be less of a challenge. So next galaxy will be 58th dimensions, and now I have that super confusing achievement. Um, well, first I start with three time dimension boosts, which is which is amazing. That means I don't have to do those, three, those first three runs ever again. And then your dimension boost and time dimension boost do not reset unless you... So it's upon a tick speed boost. Like, I actually calculated this before. I can get up to two tick speed boosts without it resetting my dimension boost and time dimension boosts. So you, you'll see what what that means later. And I actually it doesn't seem like I have, maybe I just have to do these first three runs just one more time, but it's gonna, it's only one more time. And also this multiplier is now a 1.058 multiplier, which will definitely, that, that's definitely faster than it was like, like, I feel like that 1.052 wasn't that much faster than 1.05, but a 1.058 times multiplier could be considerably faster, and it will probably lead to, like, a noticeable speed boost, especially later, later on when I have tons of tick speed upgrades. And you, honestly, I can honestly I, I should just start each run with M. I'm just pressing the M key instead of going to the time dimension tab and purchasing all the time dimensions. It's just so fast now. I, I, I really wonder what, what it's going to be like like when I
trying to go up to like 30 8th dimensions. I can already get a galaxy point, yet I only have 3 dimension shifts, which is interesting. Like I, I'm guessing that's just because like the galaxy helps me get more galaxy points. Like I'm not exactly sure how many galaxy points I'll be able to get, but it'll probably be a, a decent amount. So like I'm, I'm now now it's up to two galaxy points from galactic sacrifice, and it's probably just gonna get more and more as I accumulate more dimension boosts and time dimension boosts and just eighth dimensions. And this percentage is now like cracking like almost a, a thousand percent second or a second so yeah now I'm up to four galaxy points the thing is I need 20 so it may seem like a lot but I'm gonna have to push farther than ever before I may even need a third galaxy I'm not exactly sure if I if I will but I, I, I may need a third galaxy also I think this is the point where I start going for um, a time dimension shift so yeah honestly honestly I can just hold M down and see if this is any faster than before um, yeah, it's, it, honestly, at this point, just holding M is the fastest thing to do, which is crazy. And now all I need is 28 dimensions, like this. I can get 60 galaxy points, or not 60, 6 galaxy points. Sometimes I cannot speak. But, yeah, I can just see holding M is now by far the fastest thing. Even dimensional sacrifice barely feels like it's sacrificing anything, just because of, like, how that works with like when 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 it's fast um dimensional sacrifice um barely like cost you any time and here is the next time dimension shift it looks like the gal the galaxy point it lo it looks like it will just stay at whatever it is or maybe maybe not it's just probably because it's based on so many things at this point but yeah i can get 9 galaxy points which is pretty good but the thing is i'm going to want i i want more than that and here, here will come like the first actually slow part, which is getting to um, 38th dimensions. It's not even going to be all that slow. So again, I'm, I'm going to, I think my dimension boost and time dimension boost will not reset um, when I get the tick speed boost. So essentially what a tick speed boost does is it gives you like a free, I'm not sure, like 16 tick speed upgrades. I'm not exactly sure what it does. Um, this upgrade buffs it to 32 free tick speed upgrades, but I think it's something like 16 or 20 or something like that. Like, I actually didn't, I, I did not keep track of what this multiplier was before the tick speed boost. Actually, I'm, I can't, I can just do a dimension boost instead, and, and like, let, let's see what, what that's gonna do, because I, I will definitely observe what the multiplier starts at. So, the multiplier starts, uh, I think, just... If I just do it like this, it starts at just one times. Okay, so that that's simple. That is simple to understand. And now I need to push to 38th dimensions again. It won't even be that tough. Also, you can see the spar in the bottom is rising pretty fast. It's the percentage to infinity, which is a later mechanic that I have not reached yet. But it's like it's like the end goal of New Game Minus 4. So, yeah, that, there's not much else to do while I'm waiting for this. Here it is, 38th dimension. I'm just gonna export my save just in case. And okay, here here it is. It does not. It did not reset. So let, let's see how what the multiplier is. It's five times multiplier, which is actually really powerful. That's like even with the dilation nerfs, that's like still an effect of like somewhere around a three times multiplier to all normal dimensions. Maybe even time. Maybe even time dimensions are affected by this. So yeah, that that's pretty powerful. And it should also help with galaxy points. The thing is, the next one of these is going to cost 35 8th dimensions. So, that's, that's quite a bit. But, I, there's first, of course, just the 8th time dimension to try to get. And that will help things. And then I'm not exactly sure what I should go for. Maybe I should go for, like, another tick speed boost. And then another dimension boost. Or I could try to go for another antimatter galaxy. Like... I, I know 58th dimensions is possible. It would take it would take probably like an hour or a couple hours even, but it's definitely possible to get. Like especially how fast I'm getting 38th dimensions, and like here is the next time dimension shift, which is gonna yeah it's gonna it's gonna make this even faster. But yeah, it's it's an interesting decision to try to make. 
Like, should I go for, like, the 48th dimension to just, just get a tick speed boost? I also could potentially try to get another time dimension boost, except I don't think that's going to do all that much, really. Like, I think it's mostly just going to be about the, like, the normal, like, dimension boost. And then the tick speed boosts, I, th I think the tick speed boosts are generally more powerful than a regular dimension boost, considering, like, the five times multiplier I get up there. So it's, it's, an, it's definitely an interesting decision. Let, let's see how many galaxy points I can get before, like, this, this second galaxy here. Like, I can get, let's see, 14. That looks like the most I'm going to really be able to get. So I feel like I should try to get another galaxy. Because I don't think getting, like, a tick speed boost and a dimension boost and a time dimension boost is going to cut it if I want to get 20 galaxy points. So, yeah, it's going to be um, a bit of a long wait, but New Game Minus 4 has had much longer waits. So, yeah, it, it's it, I know it's unfortunate. And also, the really unfortunate thing is that this upgrade doesn't actually buff the runs at all. It just, it just all it does is give me more galaxy points. That's all it does. So essentially, I'm just going to have to do this, this same run over again. And it's only this upgrade for 50 galaxy points that actually um, buffs the actual runs. So Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.